If sampling indicates varroa mite levels in your colonies are high enough to exceed thresholds or cause concern, consider treatments that fit within your integrated pest management strategy. For more information on integrated pest management and mite thresholds, see the Tools for Varroa Management Guide and the Introduction and Sampling Methods videos in this series. This video shows when and how to apply two essential oil products, ApaGuard and ApaLifeVar, to control elevated varroa mite populations. Thymovar is a Canadian product. Other videos in this series discuss varroa sampling and other control methods. Both products should only be used when temperatures are between 59 degrees and 105 degrees Fahrenheit. However, they are most effective within a narrower temperature range. At lower temperatures, fewer mites may be killed and the process of controlling the mites will take longer. At higher temperature, fewer mites may be killed because thymol is released too rapidly. Also, there may be increased brood mortality, reduced egg laying by the queen, bee bearding or clustering on the front of the hive, and increased bee irritability. You can use ApaGuard or ApaLifar effectively during the population increase phase or the population decrease phase if it's not too cold or hot. Don't use them during the population peak phase when bees are storing honey to be harvested. These products can adversely affect the taste of honey. They will be ineffective during the dormant phase, especially when bees are clustered. Do not feed colonies during treatment. Treat all colonies in the apiary at the same time. Always read the product label to make sure that you are applying the product properly and safely. Wear nitrile or latex gloves when handling these two essential oils to prevent skin irritation. Apigard is a slow-release gel that contains 25% essential oil thymol. In Canada, this product is called Thymavar. As bees seek to remove the gel from the hive, it vaporizes or sublimates to kill phoretic mites on the adult bees. Apigard is available in two sizes, an individual tray pack and a larger tub with a dosing scoop and tray. To apply ApaGuard using the individual tray, peel back the cover, then place the tray, open side up, on top of the brood frames. To use the ApaGuard tub, spread 1.8 ounces or 50 grams of ApaGuard on the tray using the provided scoop or a syringe. Then place the tray on top of the brood frames. Be sure to carefully measure out 50 grams of ApaGuard. If the colony is weak, with five or fewer brood frames, reduce the dosage by half. After the ApaGuard is in place, add an extra spacer rim or empty hive body to give the bees room to get to the gel. Replace the hive cover. Some recommend closing the bottom screen to improve the efficiency of the treatment. After 10 to 14 days, examine the hive. If the apigard is gone, or nearly so, add another dose. Leave the second dose for two to four additional weeks. Bees often remove the second dose more slowly than the first dose. The total apigard treatment period lasts four to six weeks. If gel material remains after four weeks, spread it on top of the frames with a hive tool. Apolifar contains four essential oils, thymol, eucalyptus, menthol, and camphor. It has a strong smell, so avoid breathing it in if possible. Wear gloves when handling Apolifar. Open the foil pouch carefully and remove one of the two vermiculite wafers. Break the wafer into four equal pieces and place them on top of the brood frames. Replace the colony's cover. Adding a spacer is optional. You may wish to close the bottom screen and reduce the colony entrance. After seven to 10 days, apply a second ApaLifeVar wafer. Wait seven to 10 more days, then apply a third wafer to complete the full treatment. 
After the 21 to 30 day treatment period, remove any remaining wafer pieces and dispose of them according to the label instructions. One package treats one colony twice, so one and a half packages are needed for the full course of treatment. In Canada, Thymavar is the approved essential oil product. Use two wafers placed on the periphery of the brood area. If smaller colony, use one wafer and cut it in half and position each piece as you would when using two wafers. Treatment period is three to four weeks, followed by another Thymavar application or use of a different treatment such as oxalic acid and an IPM regime. The essential oil treatments of Apigard and Apolifar or Thymavar in Canada can be effective treatments for varroa mites within an integrated pest management program. They use natural substances as their active ingredients and are considered safe for use both for beekeepers and bees. Always resample after treatment to confirm that the treatment worked. Thanks for watching this video from the Honey Bee Health Coalition. Visit honeybeehealthcoalition.org and download the Tools for Varroa Management Guide, which has more detailed information on all the topics in this video series. All videos are provided free of charge, and we encourage you to share them.